Jack Tosh was the best damn detective I ever knew. I was his partner. We had a good thing going, solving petty shakedowns and low-level snatch jobs on the north side of Chicago for rich mugs with more dough than sense. Like I said, it was good. And then she walked in. Jack Toast, I need your help in a bad way. I hear you're a detective. I hear you're good. Sure. Jack's the best. Well, I need the best. My husband, he's gone missing. I know he's in trouble. I don't know who I'd be without him, Mr. Toast. He's my whole life. Please help me. I'll do anything to find him. Money is no object. This is his best friend. If anyone knows where Sam is, he does. I don't know, Jack. Something seems funny about it to me. I could tell he knew she wasn't on the square, but he wasn't one to turn down a case, especially when a lady was involved. Jack never could say no to a date. We found the friend working as a line man in a hash house in Uptown. He was an ex con yeg with a rap sheet longer than my bar tab. I don't know where Sam is. Then you got a problem, buddy, cause his wall and chain says you do, and we're gonna be here until you sing. What are you gonna do? Me? Nothing. I only hit women, cause I'm a coward. But Jack here doesn't have my restraint. We spent all day working our way up the chain. Jack beat his way through a baker's dozen of scumbags, from the bad to the worse. He was like an orchestra conductor of pain, making sweet music with his fist. Nazis. I hate goddamn Nazis. It all made sense now. The husband was in deep to the Aryans who controlled the junk racket on the north side. So he faked his death. Yeah, that's how it went. Of course, Jack had put it together long before it crawled into my slow noodle, but he was having too much fun beating the sweet Christ into those Nazi hoods. He was a great man, Jack. I got a call that night at the sleazy flea bag I call home. It was Jack asking me to meet him at the doll's apartment. Said it was urgent, and Jack didn't throw that word around like a whorehouse sawbuck. It was late, but I was glad to get out of there, away from the bad dreams I always had about Mary and what she'd done to me and where she was. But that's another story. Besides, I'd do anything for Jack. Anything. When he didn't show, I knew something was up, so I let myself in around back. obvious what happened. The husband had walked in on Jack giving his wife the business. I don't know who shot first, but they all got it in the end. He was a great man, but Jack never could say no to a dame. Jack was my friend, my partner, and yeah, I loved him. So I did the only thing I could. It was tampering with evidence, sure but I wasn't about to see him splashed all over the rags like a slice of cheap Wonder Bread.
heck of a story, Mac. Did all that really happen? Sure it did. Yeah. I get confused sometimes. 